So good day everyone, I'm Alasa Chuchi from Base and Dubi and today I will be performing the female urinary, urinary catheterization. But first, we will be preparing all the materials needed including the line tray, the bath blanket, the urinary bath, kidney, kidney basin, and the syringe with needle, the lubricating jelly, the bandage scissor, the sterile water, the catheter, the plaster, the sterile gloves, the stock tray, it should be uh, sterile, and inside the stock tray, it, we have a specimen container, the eye and the eye sheets. So, now, we will be placing the materials inside the stock tray. So, it can be easily to transfer the catheter from the, to the stock tray. So, we will be using the forceps. And next is don't forget to close the stock tray. So those are the materials needed for urinary catheterization. So now we will be preparing the 10 cc of stir water. So we will be using the syringe. So it should be 10 cc of sterile water. So put it in the kidney basin. So review the patient chart to check the doctor's order for the catheterization. Next is to perform hand washing. Always check if the area is clean and perform clapping. Remain the natural bend of the catheter by twisting it around your hand. And check the potency by inflating the balloon. And then withdraw. Make it sure that you withdraw the thin cc of sterile water. So, lubricate the catheter to 3, 2 to 3 inches using your dominant hand and separate the labia and locate the urinary meatus above the vagina and below the clitoris. So, first, lubricate your hand using the lubricating jelly.
2 to 3 centimeter. I mean 2 to 3 inches. Then, next is to instruct the patient to inhale and exhale and insert the catheter. So, make it sure you push the catheter above the vagina and below the clitoris. So, instruct the patient to inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So, push 6 cm until there is a flow of urine. Take note its consistency. After that, get the 10 cc of syringe and inflate the retention balloon with the designated volume. Then do after care. So first, prepare all the materials needed for the removal of the catheter. So first, we have a waste receptacle, the bath blanket, the wet cotton ball, the plastic container, the tissue paper, and we also have a syringe with needle, the thin cc of syringe, the plastic container, and lastly is we have a urinal bottle. So these are the materials needed for the removal of the catheter. So check the patient chart to review the doctor's order for the removal of the catheter. The materials needed at the inside of the patient and don't forget to perform glabbing. So first thing to do is to prepare your urinal bottle and your plastic bag. So get the urinal bottle and then open Then wait until there is no more urine in the urine bag. Then use the plastic container, then place the your bag inside the plastic container. Prepare the wet cotton ball and the syringe. Then wipe the wet cotton ball in the plaster so that it can be easy, easily removed. Then inject. And we draw the thin cc of sterile water. Then get the catheter and put it in the plastic container. So bring the waste receptacle and discard and don't forget to perform hand washing. 